We had an ambitious idea about six months ago to see what would happen with the Cayenne if we took it to the very limits of what it could achieve. It started its journey at our headquarters in Reading and drove the entirely normal way over here with its occupants in complete comfort. When we looked at uh, towing an Airbus A380, we also looked at, just incidentally, at what the world record was for pulling the heaviest object. It transpired it was 170 tonnes. Now the Airbus A380 ranges from 270 tonnes right up to 500 tonnes. So we thought it would be a good idea to ask uh, Guinness World Records to come here and adjudicate and to, to see what we're doing. It's like with any Guinness World Records, you never know what the outcome is going to be at the end of it. So every record we turn up to, we never know what's going to happen. The stipulations we've laid out are, it has to be a standard production model, uh, not modified in any way. It has to be manufactured such that it's sold in at least three different countries, and at least 30 models have to be built at the same time. To be precise, it has to be pulled 100 feet, which makes it 30.48 metres. We're going to attempt to um, pull the A380 uh, out of the hangar and across the tarmac with a completely standard KNS. It's a 4.2 litre V8 diesel, 850 newton metres of torque, so it's a very powerful car. To tow an A380, we're going into the unknown. Um, it's not like towing a trailer or a speedboat or anything like that. It was just going over the car, making sure everything was A1 as it should be. It's just done it. We are over the moon. Uh, we are so, so proud of what the cars achieved, of what the engineers in Stuttgart have done in creating this car. That a standard production car can tow a 285 tonne aircraft is extraordinary. Yeah, for a fantastic achievement like that, for an aircraft pulled, you know, by a production car, in terms of your Guinness World Records, you are officially amazing, fantastic. So we did it in not one but two cars, the uh, Cayenne S diesel and the mighty Cayenne Turbo S. The car is absolutely fine and it will be driven back to uh, our headquarters in Reading and it was phenomenal to see what the Cayenne can do when it's really tested. <laughs>